Oh, hey, there they are. Slow as fuck. Anaheim ha! part two, electric boogaloo. This is part three, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, we didn't get the other one on camera. Can I get a hi uh... Jojo dies in part six. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Nexus Core. We're at Anaheim Spring Fest, and I'm gonna just do an unbagging video for for the little red bag that we get for entering Spring Fest. It's pretty neat, right? This is content. This is kind of similar to the yellow bag that we got from like three years ago, I think, for Spring Fest. So it's really nice, little cute bag instead of like little plastic ones they're used to giving us. Well, let's just go right into what we got in here. First thing we're gonna come pull out of this magic bag is, ooh, pamphlets, magazines for advertising, buddy fight stuff, yeah, whatever. Next thing, oh, cool, we got the mat. Oh, cool, a pen. We got a pen too, guys, all right. So the mat, we got, let's see if I can uh, zoom out for you guys. We got, this dank looking mat, it says Spring Fest 20, 2018 right there. Pretty decent mat, they don't like. All the other ones for the anime, it's like they have the anime characters and just Spring Fest or whatever world event. This is actually a really, really good looking mat for uh, considering that G is coming to an end. So looking forward to whatever maps they're doing in the future for a standard format. Ooh, now, now this is a plus, look at this. This is a storage box featuring uh, Chronovisor Heritage and uh, ooh, and keys. So this is also really nice coming to an end with the uh, G format. I'm not gonna unwrap it right now, just due to the fact I wanna keep it in the bag. Uh, I might put it together later, uh, and you might guys can see what that looks like in a little bit. I mean, not in a little bit, probably tonight. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Sorry for the increased glare going on here from this uh, the wrap, the wrap that they give us. Ooh, Kagero flash deck. This is the Kagura flash deck that is going to be for the future uh, Vanguard B series format. So we have the force marker right force, there. Right? Yes. Uh, these come with force gift markers as well. The backgrounds on the card are solid red indicating it's the flash deck. The skills are going to be different from the cards that are coming out as you guys may or may not know. But it's a pretty cool thing so we can, uh, everybody got one. Uh, everyone got the Kagura one too. So everyone basically got the exact same one. I'm not going to open it up now. I'm going to keep it in here but in the, if you guys want to look up you can see what's inside of the flash deck and I might go back and start unwrapping all this stuff later when we get back and it comes with the first guide so people can understand the rule and basic concept so that's pretty cool this is the Vanguard project book so inside table context overview animation so this is kind of like what's gonna go on with the next series of the anime I'm guessing yep that's exactly what it is Cool, so Unite Team Q4 coming out soon. That's gonna be exciting. 
Uh, oh, cool. That's good to know. So now people can understand the point of the new uh, give imaginary gift markers. Uh, the addition of the front trigger is going to be pretty, pretty cool. Uh, all right, and we also got the official. Um, uh, tournament schedule so now we know what's going to go happening with the deck so people don't have to freak out. You know, we still got premium format, people don't worry and quit the game, blah blah blah. Dental car van, three in location, so things going on. So I, that's pretty cool, just a little packet, keep people up to date. Um, I already ahead of time this was open, they got these little buttons that came in these silver packets, and you get one for any random clan. The biggest plus from this thing is the free box the free mat, which is pretty gorgeous considering it's like ZTB and Luar and you got like end to the series, so that's pretty cool. And then also the flash deck, just because this can be a pretty cool, good memory to have. And even though there are flash deck cards, you can still technically use them. I don't see why not. They're, they should still be legal cards, so there you go. You can use flash deck cards if you want. That's um, it's basically all the stuff you got on this thing. So I'm just gonna go back to the rest of the event, and yeah, well, we might get back to this later. I'll let you guys know. See ya. Is this $40 too? <laughs> Triggered. <laughs> so it's the day after uh Saturday Spring Fest, so Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. Um, I'm just gonna basically go through this thing. Just kinda unwrap all the stuff I already showed you guys, so. Let's just go right in the box. Cause you know, the boxes are fun. Pretty nice looking, I like that. So, I'll put that together later. I'm probably gonna keep the mat wrapped up. It's a nice looking mat there, look at that. Did I open this up? Oh, I already had opened it up at the event. Uh, there's a video that Gabe and I did of us playing the Kagura flash decks versus each other. So uh, the thing uh, essentially comes with uh, three force gifts, and it comes with play sets of almost every single card. It's all mixed up because we had to shuffle it. Um, for the most part, you get the you get the idea of how to play with this thing. Um, Essentially, we figured out is whoever got in a Holland first was essentially going to win because it's the only card with control. And the rest of it is just kind of crit sacking, but overall, it was a fun game. Um, we essentially had to like borrow each other's force gifts because we just kept on rewriting over and over again. Um, yeah, it was pretty cool. Pretty fun experience. So, you guys will see that soon. The packet also comes with a play mat. This is, wow, a really stiff playmat. This is like one of the stiffest playmats I've ever felt. It's got your old school mat with the uh, little one spot there for your gift markers and your damage zone. The triggers, that tell you what the triggers are right there. And we also got the uh, the flow. You know, it's like the trial deck guides. You get the, the little thing that tells you what the cards do. Uh, stuff like that, so... Um, shocker, they actually didn't have the Royal Paladin one up for uh, giveaway, even though they were doing giveaways at the event. But um, I'm honestly shocked that they didn't have it there for you players to um, have both. Kind of disappointing, but, you know, it's whatever. The box kind of looks like this. You know, got your, your Spring Fest uh, 2018 right there. Got geese on the back. And uh, the box opens up from the heritage side. So I already put some stuff in there. This is my uh, 
Liberator Garmore deck in here. Got the bluish flame sleeves just because Liberator theme. And I got some uh, some extras here from a from another old case. I believe I got this from another Spring Fest event back from the Limit Break era. And yeah, that was, just a quick summary. That was how the event was. Um, yeah, it was fun. That's it.